Hi guys, welcome back to the Make It Vlog. I know it's been a long time, but we are back. So, to oh, oh, for this fun craft, I'm going to show you how to make a leprechaun trap. I'm going to guide you through the steps, step by step. And in the end, it's going to look some, and it's, in the end, it's going to look a little something like this. Dun, dun, dun. Everyone knows I started with a design, but I changed it a lot. So, oh, it's okay to start with. So, just so everyone knows, it's okay to start with a design, but then change it because I came through some challenges, and it's totally okay a, to change your design. And to all of the people out there. Or, or that uh, maybe just want to check this video out but aren't actually going to do it. I encourage you to start with a design. I start making it, but if it seems like too much of a challenge or something comes in your way, then you can always change it up a bit. I changed mine a lot, as you can see. From this all the way to this. So I just want you to know it's totally okay if you change your design because that's what makes things so cool. Well, you can totally change things. And, and it's so fun too. I hope, hope you have fun making this is with me. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to the Make It Vlog episode 9. So, um, sorry that I accidentally forgot to record this bit, but you can catch up easily. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to use your scrap paper and place you your base of your hat onto it. Then you're going to trace around it, and you're going to cut it up. Be careful to stay on the lines because what happened to mine is it got a little off, if you can see. There's a little green spot shining through there, so got a little off. But So be careful to cut on the lines, and then you're going to glue it. Ooh, you're going to put glue on the edge of your, your hat and then you're going to glue them together. Then you're going to take a big green piece of paper, well not big, but a green piece of paper, a uh, big, uh, not big, a whole green piece of paper and then you're going to glue it on. And that's where we are now. So. Um, if there is, you're going to try to wipe off any extra glue, and then you can wash your hands. I mean, the process is messy. Um, so, you're gonna try and get as much off as possible. Um, if you don't want to wash your hands, then keep watching but if you do not which um or if you do not then you can keep watching because i'm not going to wash my hands um okay so now we are going to cut it out yes more fun, i know i mean okay first we're going to trace it actually Yes, I know, I'm not tracing. So, trace around, and, and clean. Um. 
Um, okay. My dog turned off the best, and yes, mine didn't either. Um, but now we, but now here's the way easier part. Just gonna cut around. You didn't, and if you didn't choose to trace, that's fine because you actually don't need to trace. I don't know why I traced. You just need to cut around the side. it should look like that. Okay. So, we are done with the top of the hat. Um, okay. So, one part that we still need to work on is the brim of the hat. So, okay. This is not the best I get. And of course it's not fitting because it's a different size. Okay, so new plan. We are going to need more strut. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. So I'm going to pause the video because, yes, I need to get more scrap, and you might need to as well, so, see you next time. Okay guys, I'm back, I got more scrap, which is, yes again, a pizza box. Pizza, pizza, pizza. You're going to put your new. You're going to put your new cardboard on. I mean, you're you're going to put your new cardboard on the table. Or not your new cardboard, but your other cardboard, your other big cardboard piece on the table. Then you're going to take what we have already finished, the uh, part of the hat. Put it. So now you're going to um, now you're going to trace around. Yes, more tracing. So trace around it on the board. going to trace around it making the brim of the hat should look something like that don't know if you can see but there's one circle and then there's another larger one which is going to be the brim now Let's see, uh, where did my scissors go? Oh, there they are. Okay. Why? Sorry, um, okay. Then, you are going to cut and cut and cut. 
pet. Again, I'll s I mean, I'll see you next time when I'm done with pet. Bye. Okay, guys. Hi. So, we were just at the part where we were making the brim. So, we're going to cut out the a uh, part that you drew randomly. And then, if you need help cutting the middle part, we're going to poke a hole with your scissors through the center and turn, turn, turn until there's a very big hole that you can get your scissors into. Then you're going to cut a few lines out to the edge of where the tracing was, and then you're going to, okay, my dad, okay, um, so you're going to put all, so you're, okay, so you're going to cut two lines, lines all the way, there. and then you're going to bend. And, okay, and then you're going to bend it, and then you're going to cut that top that you just bended. And there should be just a little bit left of where the brim is, and you're just going to carefully cut it. I need a little tiny Okay, so you're going to keep doing that all the way around until it's in depth. I'll give you some time and pause the video. Oh, yeah. So I'll see you next time when it's all done. Bye. Hello, welcome back. Hi everyone. So we just finished cutting out the brim of the hat. We are going to take our base of the hat and put it on. Just look like that. So now we are going to use our glue to glue. Then we're going to glue it on. Oh, geez. Um, okay. Uh, so apparently it has to be very close to the edge. So then you can, like, glue it on properly. Make sure it gets lined up. Then push down and wait for a bit. So, if there's any extra spots 
to cover, then you can just take a um, thread, then you can kind of wrap it around. One sec. Uh, one sec, I'm going to get the soup. Hey guys, it is, welcome back. So, while we were away, I finished the brim of my hat. So, I, I, cu I finished cutting out the circle, and then I glued it on, and then, there is still a bit of extra glue, Ooh, so I, I take some string around, and I glued some string around, and then I, 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 I took the scrap piece of paper that we used to make the top of our green hat, at the, and then I put it down, and I traced over the edge of uh, the like where it came down, so I traced on on the folding line, and then and I cut along that line that I made with my pencil. So then I glued it on. On I and it, even though there is that is that little crease part that I uh, not the crease that little. It'll cut an uh, open part that we have. You can just glue that down. Um, then, I'm sure there's some extra bits. So, oh, now we are going to start cutting them off. So move everything out of the way as much as you can. And then you're going to take your scissors. You're going to face the whole of the hat towards you, or you, so then you can look at where you're cutting. You're going to start cutting along the edges as carefully as you can. along the edge and eventually you'll get to where or you started. So it's okay if there's still a bit hanging off of it. But now we're going to glue the rest on. Oh right, didn't open it. Okay, so I'm gonna open the glue. Set the cat where up where you can find it because some glue cups are pretty small. So then we don't want too much. So we're just gonna oh yep, I did too much. So we're just going to do a thin line of glue ew, along on where it is. It is and it's okay if there's there's like little empty spots because as it as it'll still go on just fine. Okay, if you need to, you can break in the middle, and that's what I did. It, but otherwise, just keep turning and gluing.
then we're done. So you can put like stickers along the outside if you want. And I think I'll put some. Um, but I don't know for sure. You can you can definitely put it over some of the uh, like cracks, like this part. So I put a rainbow star right there. Okay, then I'm going to take another blank sheet of green paper and fit it around the outside. If it doesn't reach, don't worry because mine is a bit tall so I can just use some of that to cover it up but uh, I also have strap paper so I can use that to fill it up. Okay so for this we're just going to do lines across thin ones. We don't want it to be too much glue. Shouldn't reach completely from top to bottom. It should just be like a thin, nice line. So no. If some grips to the bottom, that's fine. You can just wipe it up with your um, paper when you're done. So you're gonna keep going all the way around. Okay, um, so we're gonna keep going around and, uh, and we'll do the next step in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so last time we were finishing our uh, St. Patrick's Day thing. So, uh, probably for most of you, glue started dripping on the side. Yes, we're so, er, dripping on the brim. That's why we did the brim first, just so you know. So, I'm going to do that. Okay, so, we're going to use our piece of We are going to use one of the scrap pieces of paper for it to wipe it up and put it on the side. Yes, there's a very big smudge where it's wiped. But we'll deal with that later. Actually, no, 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 no. Okay, um, for the thing that you, for how much you already did, that's fine. I didn't leave it. Um, but for the rest, leave it like that. So we're going to wrap around as much as we can and press down on it. Like that. So now 
making sure that it's held in place as you do it. We're going to cut the extra part, if there is one, off. If there is extra part. Then we are done. to take this and put it around as well. Okay. Good. Hold it down. And push. So there's probably extra and right where so right where so actually no, no. Um so actually we're going to leave the extra bit that's wrapping around so then it will it'll be more secure on. So what we're going to do is See how it's unfolded like that? Yeah. So, um, we're going to take our glue and put a bit of glue right there. to do the same on the other side and glue. Okay, so there's probably a bit sticking up like that, so it probably kind of looks like a throne or a chair. Right, so gonna fix that. your scissors and again we're going to cut off the top part there should be a bit of scrap left now it should look like this 
so we finished the basic part of the leprechaun trap and now you're going to need to get black paper and yellow paper. So got black and yellow. Good. So now we're going so now with the black we're going to cut a strip of it off. Just like that. Good. Okay, so if it's uneven, that's fine. Um, it probably doesn't even wrap all the way around. So, oh, we're going to make another strip. This time we're going to make it, it get on the other side of it. So, we glued them together, which we will soon. It should be able to wrap all the way around. So, we're going to start with our longer piece and wrap it all the way around. And so, this time we're actually going to put glue on the strip. No, oopsie. Uh, I had the cap on. Okay. Good. And then we're gonna take that. Then we're gonna stick it on. Um, so then we're going to take our shorter strip and we're going to again put a thin line on the side of it and then we're going to take it and wrap it around. So they probably meet at one place and then keep going, but that's that's good because it'll just help it stay on there. Okay, then we're going to take the yellow piece of paper and then we're going to also let's see, take this and we're going to draw a medium sized square and then a smaller square inside so it should look like that and then we're going to cut along the outer square Then we're going to take our little thing. We're going to meet these two sides, but we're not going to, going to crease it. Well, okay, you can crease it if you want, but I prefer not to. So then we're going to make a little line on where the square is. If it's not perfect, that's fine. You can go back. I can do it again. But then, after that, we're going to uh, 
it'll, it'll go all the way around the square with the little line we made. Okay. Then. Then we're done. And then if there's a little outer line on it, then you can just flip it over. So over and glue on on the side that still have the outer line. So we're going to glue over it. I recommend gluing over scrap piece of paper. So then it won't get like mess up the tables or chairs if it drops or if the glue comes off. Okay, so then we're going to stick it on. If it gets a bit messy, that's fine. You can just wipe it off with a scrap piece of paper for, for this one. But for the other at the brim, we're going to leave that up for something. Okay. Or you can wipe it off with the little piece of cardboard. glue with a little piece of cardboard or a scrap piece of paper. When you're done, we'll go on to the next step. Okay? Hi! Okay guys, welcome back. So, as you know, we have finished our ginormous leprechaun hat. So, now we are going to the next part, which is making the landscape. For the landscape, it's it's pretty simple. You'll just need a piece of white green paper. I made a different shade of my leprechaun hat, but I don't know. Couldn't find any more of the or of the same green. And anyway, I kind of like it. But now we are making a pot of gold. It's tempting it, but also triggering the trap. So oh, we are going it. To take some clay or play doh if you want, and we're gonna shape it into a, a bowl. So make the clay a flat pancake. Then you're going to push it up around your thumb. Then you're gonna take your thumb out and start putting your fingers in it, putting it out, starting to make a bowl like this. Starting to make a bowl like this. So mine was white because I couldn't find black, so I just painted it black. Okay. And I'm still painting it. But af but after that, we'll just scoop this to the we'll just put this to the side for now. We are going to, we are going to, one sec, okay, right um, okay, never mind, uh, sorry, be yeah, about my brother, so we are going to use, 
Play-Doh. Play. Sorry. Okay. Got it. So, we're going to break it up in to small parts. Well, not like small, small, but it's just going to be like medium sized parts. Okay, so then once you're done, you're going to roll it up. You're going to do this step by step. Well, you're going to do this for each ball. So roll it for each piece. Roll it into a ball and then flatten it, just not too thin. So then it's a little gold coin. Then you're going to do the same and keep repeating until all of them are made. Okay, so just keep doing the same step over and over until you've got all of your little gold coins. Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, we are, are finalizing the touches to our leprechaun traps. I want so we, so the last step that we need to do is make these little pillars. So I'm gonna show you how. How do I cut this circle? So let's see. Okay. Mm. So we're going to cut out a piece of piece of cardboard about this size. Then you're gonna make three folds like that and then you're going to fasten it with something so i found this broken rubber band and you can still we'll use broken things but rubber bands also work so we're going to either tie a knot or wrap a rubber band around. And let's see. And pull. Then we're done. So we're going to take that and we'll put it right there so it'll look something like that and make sure to tie the cauldron to it so when it, or not cauldron the pot of gold to it so one sec oh and and it'll probably be help if there's a path of gold did i mention that no i didn't so oh it should be tied so when the leprechaun pulls on it Dun, dun, dun. Ta da! Okay, so we are done with our leprechaun trap. I know it's been a long, long adventure, but we finally got through it. And it's amazing, and I bet yours is too. Thanks for making it with me. Bye.